Big Game Pow! Hello everyone, Big Game Pow here. Music Magpie time again. They have been. We have two in individual parcels and a big parcel. So yeah, I don't know why they've uh, decided to do it like that. But they have. So again, this is a series where I order a load of stuff from uh, Music Magpie. This time being 360 again. <clears throat> and I open it up and we check it. Whether it's got whether it's manual, box. Hopefully the disc is not damaged. Although they say they refurbish all of them, so it should be good. Just overall condition of them. Uh, again, all credit goes to Sean. Retro Games Revived. As always, the link will be down below. So please, if you haven't gone and, gone and checked him out, go and give him a sub and check out his ones because he's come out of a good series here. The old one for sorrow, two for joy. So yeah, hopefully we're going to get a few more joys this time rather than sorrows. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's see how we're getting on here. We have got Bionic Commander, and it feels really light. And we have started off really bad. Which is just how we wanted to start this episode. Part 4, if anyone was wondering. I don't know when Part 5 will be coming, but I'm sure there will be one. But that's going in the sorrow pile. This one, on the other hand, feels really heavy. And hard to get into apparently. Right, we have got Dynasty Warriors 7. And so far from what I can see, this is a joy. Manual is there and it is in good condition. <coughs> We'll get the old clip test in for Sean in every video, just one at least. Yeah, that one's a pass. Just for you, that was Sean. Yep, yeah, please with that one. That can go in the collection. All right. There's got to be at least eight in here, I reckon. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's right. Spot on. Exactly eight of them in there. All 360. So, let's see. Oh, the first one is... Bioshock 2. The sequel to the game of the year. So, Bioshock 1 must have won game of the year at some point. Loads of stickers all over the manual. Someone's tried to have a go at that. Lucky enough, they left it. Or they damaged it. So I can get that off. Someone's had a little bite of the manual. Some little kids got hungry, had a little chew of it. But that, that's flattening out, that's fine. Disc is there. Non-classics version. I do like the, the look of this, it's like all shiny. I don't know if you'll be able to tell from that. Like a holographic card. Yeah, that is a pass. <clears throat> Two out of three, not bad. Right, next up. Ah, uh, Sean, you'll be happy I'm showing this one off. Box is a little bit broken at the bottom, but I've got replacements for that. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And as I said, the box is a little bit damaged there. We've got something inside it. It's looking like it's one that don't need a manual because it's got all the writing on it. But you can see all that damage there. Look. Someone's shot it with a gun, I think, practicing for their Call of Duty. So we've got a season pass there. Already been used, but we'll give it a go at some point. 
says game discs. I'm guessing there's two discs on this. Yes, there is. We've got an install disc. And a game disc. So, yeah, that's going into the wind pile other than the uh, box that needs upgrading. Which a lot of you would put in a foul pile, but most collectors have got plenty of cases spare, so happy with that. <clears throat> Next up. Amped free. Can we spy a manual? Feels heavy, so there should be one in there. Yes. Someone's had a go at taking the sticker off of it and never uh, left the rest of it, thank God. Where is it? There. So I'm getting some whole goo gone on that and clean that off without damaging the manual. It's got reversible cover on it. You can have a uh, NBA 2K6 and NHL 2K6. If you don't fancy looking at that. Bit of advertising for <laughs> advertisement inside the box. We'll get it back in there now. But yeah, happy with that. Another one ticked off. Box just needs a bit of a clean. So other than that first one, we're doing pretty well, yeah? Right, next up. It's Batman. Arkham Asylum. Game of the year, 95% Xbox World 360. 96% Masterpiece, Game Master. Must be a good game. It's got all these reviews on it. It is complete. We have a manual. This game, manual and everything, it's like it's barely, barely been touched. They've probably got this in and didn't even have to refurbish it. It's got minor, minor scratches, so I'm guessing if a game comes in, it doesn't need resurfacing. They don't bother resurfacing it. Welcome to the madhouse. The Joker. <laughs> We're doing well. It's in a good pile. Next up. Just in time. For Halloween, although this video will probably be going well out past Halloween. We have a replay. Once you've played this game, trade it and get money off anything in store at HMV. Devil May Cry 4. Complete with manual. Capcom game. Really good condition. Another win. Last few. Three left. This one feels light, dishonoured, maybe this has got a thin manual, oh no, it's a foul, no manual for dishonoured, well you can't, you can't win them all can you, you can have some fouls in an episode, right next up, Dark, Monsieur, Monsieur, might and Magic Elements. This one feels like it's got a manual. Yes. This one is nice and complete. Just how I like them. Retro Boofy. <laughs> click test is good, Sean. Really loud clicks on this one. Very gruesome game. Some monster getting his head chopped off there. <laughs> and the last one, like I say, if you do like these sort of videos, go and check out Sean Retro Games Revived. Give him a sub. Right, so next up, we have got Alien Colonel Marines. Colonel Marines. The limited edition. I don't know what makes it limited edition, but it come up as limited edition, so I bought it. Although it doesn't have a 
<coughs> limited edition disc, so have I got the wrong disc? Have they just put a normal one in there? Because I think there is a bit of a price difference between the limited edition one and the normal version. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Game, right, bonus in-game content. Four playable movie characters. Ripley's <clears throat> flamethrower and extra marine customization. I mean, is there meant to be like a code or something? Unless that is how it comes. Let me know in the comments down below. <clears throat> so out of 10 games this week, we have two fouls. Again, if anyone has manuals for these spare, let me know. And eight games going into the wall. So overall, not a bad week again. And uh, hopefully I'll get another order in soon. I don't know how long it's going to be. And uh, we'll do another one of these. So as always, <clears throat> thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.